Okay, this is Julie from Yarn. I mean, oh, <laughs> I forgot that I changed my channel name from Julie Reynolds. Uh, crochet and more and I just thought I'd show you number one how long my hair really is and how I get ready to put my snood on and how I put it on so, uh, it's, it's pretty long. It comes down to here. And look at how much hair comes out of my head. Look at all that. That's all the stuff that comes out when I'm... Uh, Oh, and there's more on my rubber band. I know. These are not rubber bands. I don't even know what to call them. Okay, then I get my hair back like this. Okay, and... I don't put it up too awful high because of the way I'm going to wear this. Put it like this and pull it tight. Don't know why I pull it tight, but I do. And then I twist it around. Until there's nothing left to twist around. Then I take the back of my snood and I hold it to the back of my neck and then I bring it over and I put it on top of my glasses so that my glasses stay where they're supposed to. Then I bring it back as far as I want to and it is on and ready for the day. So I just thought I would show you how I do it so that you can do it too if you make yourself a snoot. And I also wanted to show you this is the back panel to the sweater I'm making. Now I made it a little bit wider than I needed because I want it to fit over my hips. And my hips are a little bigger. And I think I will at some point soon make it go in a little bit but this is the pattern it's we do one row of what they have you do is you do a slip stitch into the first one the second one is a double crochet, then slip stitch, then double crochet, then st slip stitch, and so on, all the way down the line. Then the second row, when you come back, is all half double crochet. And the ribbing was all single crochet 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, single crochet in the back loop on both sides. It kind of looks exactly the same on both sides. Now this sweater I'm making, I'm at this point making it for me because of a few mistakes and I didn't feel like taking them out. I somehow got the, uh, the top here to the other, you know, stitches below. Um, when I was doing it, and I'm not even sure how I did that. Um, but I think I did it on both sides. It's just not as noticeable on this side, but it's right, right there. And so this sweater is going to end up being for me. And I decided that when I realized I made the mistakes that I made and I really didn't want to go back through and do it over again. But if I was doing this for someone else, I would tear it out and fix it. Um, but I like, I like the texture of the pattern. It, um, the way it has the sort of bumps there and I have been having a lot of fun with this um, and of course I have this this is Lion Brand Pound of Love plus I have a whole other one of the blue um, which is the Lion Brand Pound of Love. And I know that I know that I know that I have more than enough to make this sweater. And I um, really like, I really like it. I like how it's coming out. I like the stitch that they have me doing. Um, it's just a lot of fun doing it. And it's crochet. Um, the other sweater I'm doing is a loom knit sweater. And I'm a little further along on the back panel. But it's this one, and I like the texture on this one, too. It's just kind of nice. But I would not give this to someone else because of the mistake I made. Um, all this here is supposed to be like this. But I did it incorrectly. So um, this one is going to be for me also. But I will definitely uh, show it to you when I'm done. And I'll show the other one to you when I'm done. And uh, I, I will put it on to show you so that you see what it looks like. And um, I will put it probably put it up on my Etsy so that people can see what it looks like and they can order um, what they want, like the color and so forth. Um, so that, those are the biggest projects I'm working on right now. I have a few others, but um, Oh, 
like this sock that I've been working on forever. I just, I finished the heel and I'm working on the foot of the sock. Um, and it will look something like this. And you know, I just might put these up on my Etsy so that people can see what they actually look like. Um, but I can't sell this exact pair because of, uh, you can see I sewed things together because somehow I ended up with too much space in there or something, I don't know. But the other side came out just fine. I'm not sure what I did there, but like I said, I would never sell this sock. Um, because of that. And this other one here, I don't know how many times I had to tear it out because either the cuff was too long or the color matching was wrong. And I believe that for these two, the color matching is so close that I am just going to, you know, leave it. Um, especially since it's just going to be for me. Um, I would not do that for a sock that I was going to give to somebody else, especially if they were buying it. Um, if someone were buying this, I would definitely take it out and redo it and fix the mistake before it even shows as a mistake to the eyes of other people. So, um, I am doing a tutorial on this sock also, and I am a little behind because I can't finish it until I get to the toe and then uh, I will do the toe exactly like I did the heel um, and then of course sew it, sew it together like that um, but I just thought I would show you where I at I was at on that also. And this sock has been washed once and it still fits me pretty well. So, um, yeah. And if I remember right, I put it in the dryer too. So, the material I buy for these socks are um, definitely <coughs> uh, non-shrinkable material. It's not got any wool in it. I think it's nylon and oh, I can't remember what's in it. I'd have to look at the and I don't know where I put it. So, um, anyway, that's what I have for you guys. And I will let you go. And you have a wonderful, blessed day.